is next. Good early morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. I am by myself. Sarah woke up and saw me off this morning from the apartment. I am off the red line. I'm on my way to Money and Park. I say Grant Park to be more specific. Um, to get ready for the Chicago Marathon, the 2022 Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Very, very excited. Out, blocking the streets. We got crowds out over here at gate four and five. It may be six in the morning and dark, but the city oh, it's alive. I know it's like all early race day events, not just run Disney, but it does feel extremely like a run Disney event to me. Um, having all the volunteers cheering, hearing the distant music of a DJ pumping it up. At, some rise. Beautiful day for a marathon. I love that they still have Buckingham Fountain on for this event. It's a little chilly, and I wish I had a throwaway sweatshirt, but look at that glorious lake. You can see the sun's getting ready to peak out, warm all this up a little bit, but not too much. Gotta find the corral. I'm in a couple corrals back this year because I'm not using my fast wine and dine time this race but we'll get back up there but i'm i'm pumped crowd l front of wave three i think we got about hour and 40 until race start but we've got like 45 minutes until the actual race starts which is when all the really exciting times begin definitely a little antsy in my corral i think it's yeah it's 6 43 i'm not even starting until 8 30 that's my run disney coming up look at this I'm like one of four runners in our corral right now because we are, I actually think we're the second group in wave three. Um, and the first two waves are 30 minutes apart. So I think the race starts at 15. And then they'll do 7, 7.30, 8. No, 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 I'm sorry, it's 7.30, 8. So I'm just going to hunker down now and stay warm. Spectator team is awake. Oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Teddy's putting everything in his mouth lately. I think he's gonna pop a tooth soon. The drama over here. Are we getting ready to cheer on Daddy? This is our first destination of the day. So our plan was to come out onto Broadway to see the wheelchair racers and the first runners um, come in. And it worked out. We ordered breakfast from, where is it? <laughs> Ann Sather. Um, so we ordered breakfast, so we're picking it up just in time to see, to see everyone come through. Jenna's got our goods. And look at her cute ghosty cup. A cup, ghosty sweatshirt. We're waiting. The first runner is gonna be here any second. This might be them with the motorcycle. Woo! Woo Go runners! Woohoo! Could you imagine? I see the start oh, woo. Many hours of waiting. We are here. I gotta stretch it out a little bit. It's standing cold. Finally in some sunlight. We are one minute away from the 
I gotta say, beautiful day. I also think this is the slowest I've ever come out of the gate. Chicago Marathon. Nothing else. Quite like it. Grady, me and Jinx, you're gonna make a poster for daddy. Good job. Yoki, we're walking to our first stop, just about mile seven on Lakeshore Drive. Yay! Yay! Hey, baby. Okay. Oh, we found a pumpkin. Come on, we gotta go cheer dad. Look at all these people coming up on James's favorite duel up here. Gonna see them again. Come on, Lake View East. Woo! Almost at mile nine. Woo! I think they're on the subway right now, so she's probably not even getting my messages, but feel pretty good. Um, legs are a little sore, but you know, it's so beautiful out. The shade, it's very cool in the shade, warm in the sun, so yeah, I'm gonna put the phone away and finish off the rest of this first half. Here we are, mile 13. I see the 21K marker up there. All right, so we are at Fairgrounds Coffee right now. Just taking a little rest, Teddy's feeding. Um, we just missed Peter at Chicago. I wanted to see him again after like our neck of the woods. We wanted to go into the loop and see him here. But just as I was getting off the train, Peter texted me saying, I'm at Chicago and Wells. So we were like literally blocks. But it wouldn't be a race without me missing Peter at least once. Um, so our next stop is Chinatown slash going to meet up with ACS. Um, but we're just going to chill for a little bit. Kind of refueling. Um, Peter, this is exhausting. Um, even last night, Peter kept talking. We are going to bed. And I was like, I have a really big day tomorrow. <laughs> like, um, But yeah, he's kicking butt. I got a little kombucha and a chocolate croissant. James is snacking. We're just about at nap time, so... Just past mile 15, we got United Center right here. Feeling good. I'm gonna probably incorporate a little run walk for a little bit here. Maybe through mile 20 and we'll see. Um, left foot's feeling decent. Got a little cramping on the right side, but thinking we'll work through that. Lance Volunteer filled up my water for me. Overall, still a beautiful day. All right, alma mater UIC. Just past mile 17. I think we're nearing mile 20. And I see an ACS tent. Mile 20, let's go, six more.
Alright, here we go. I think my friends are around the corner. Woo! Chinatown welcomes us. I had more relaxing Sundays. <laughs> Teddy is helping me push the stroller. We're headed to mile 25. I think it's going to come very close to like the soft goal I had of five hours. But my knees are cramping. My left leg hurts. My Achilles doesn't hurt yet, but I don't want to risk it. But it's the point of that race that you guys know about. Oh. In my mind, the race is basically done now. I'm about to cross the 23 mile marker. So I run for a lot of reasons, but you guys know I run for two very important people. So as Mr. Ryan would say in high school, it's time to go for a quick 5K. And I think about the people I run with and for the whole race, but this last 5K is like an extra good victory lap. So I'm just gonna cruise. I feel 10 times better than last year. And I'm just gonna enjoy the hell out of this last three miles of this beautiful race. It is. It's good to be at the Chicago Marathon. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gave us these balloons, so we're very happy. So we're being balloons. Here we go. I believe from this point right here. Oh I know. Up there, there's a clock for one mile left. One mile left right up there. Past 25 mile marker, I've got one more time to see Sarah and the kids. And then just a little challenge of going up Mount Roosevelt and then we're done. It's been a beautiful run. Say go daddy, go daddy. There's daddy, go. Go see him, go get him, go get him. Yay. 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 Yeah. Good job. Here we go. There's a turn up here at Roosevelt. Just one block to the right up the hill, and one block left to the finish stretch. Just like that, it's over. Now it's time to get ready for Dopey. Look who I found! <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Was it good? What was your time? We are walking past one of my designs. I haven't seen it. I've only seen it from the train. We are home. I have no idea when the last clip was. Um, but we're all wrecked, especially this person who ran 26.2 I'm trying miles. to pinpoint why this is the most wrecked I've ever done a race. Mm -hmm. I think it's because there's multiple, like usually I have one pain, po pain point on my body after a race, but right now I have like multiple. He's got his Jim Helper jammy pants on already. Watch out. But like you felt good during oh, the race, great. but like now you're like, now felt you're It really pain. hit me around the 20, 22, 23 mile mark. It was really when I hit it and I was like, I think when I finally acknowledged I wasn't going to hit my like fake goal five hours and I was like, I should have a goal today. Like, what should that goal be? And I was like, maybe I'll go for five hours. And then at halfway, I was like, it's attainable. And then as the day went on, I was like, I don't want to make it attainable. So like I made that, it was like, I'm going to hurt myself to attain it. And that's when I, today was not a, a competitive race for me. 
Yeah. January, I'm, I'm hoping Dopey will. That the half or the full, I'll have to decide. But, but you felt good the, during, yeah, during but like it. Now you great. feel like I felt better during this race than last year, but I feel worse after the race this year than last year. That's so strange. Yeah. Maybe it is the run walk thing. Like your body was has been kind of used to that, and you didn't do that as much today. Anyway, parenthood is all of your post race snacks that we bought for Peter. Like his favorite chips, his favorite um, cookies. His favorite drink. Why is that parenthood? All goes to your child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Jamesy's just been munching on him since we've been home. <laughs> Alrighty, post marathon meal treat. I got a teriyaki chicken sandwich. It looks really yummy. This is from Cheba the Hut, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Um, Jamesy got a little Italian. And then I also got some French onion soup. Peter got a fancy BLT. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.